hello learners welcome to the solution of this question this question is on complex number we are given that z raised to power 4 plus b z cube plus 54 z square minus 108 z plus 80 is equal to 0 where z belongs to complex number and p belongs to real number we are also given that the given equation has three roots which is 3 plus iota a and a square where a belongs to real number Okay, now since we know that uh, the highest power of equation or degree of equation is 4, so it must have 4 roots. However, only 3 roots are given and one is unknown. In part A, we have to identify the value of A by using the product of all roots of the equation. And in part B, we have to find the value of P. So first we know from the theory of equation, that the sum of roots is equal to minus time coefficient of x to the power n minus 1 divided by coefficient of x to the power n. And this is for equation having n degree. So in our case we know and this is sum taken one at a time. Similarly, we can find sum of roots taken 2 at a time, sum of roots taken 3 at a time and at last the product of roots which is constant divided by power x raised to n multiplied by minus 1 raised to power n. So if we have a quadratic equation, this will be positive. If we have a cubic equation, this will be negative. So using this theory of equation, let us try to identify the value of A. Now we know that if one root is 3 plus iota, other roots must be a conjugate pair of this that will be 3 minus iota. So another root is 3 minus iota. And the rest two roots are A and A square. So now we know all the four roots. So we can identify the product of roots which will be 3 plus iota multiplied by 3 minus iota multiplied by A multiplied by A square. And this product is always equal to minus 1 raised to the power n multiplied by constant term divided by coefficient of x that is here 1 and constant term is 80. So this will be 80. Hence 3 plus iota multiplied by 3 minus iota will be 9 minus iota square multiplied by a cube is equal to 80. So 9 minus iota square means 9 plus 1 multiplied by a cube is equal to 80. So we have 10 multiplied by a cube equal to 80. So this will be a cube is equal to 8. So value of a will be 2. Now we have the value of a and we know all the four roots that is 3 plus iota, 3 minus iota. Third root was a. So here the value of a will be 2 and another root is a square that will be 2 square that is 4. So these are the four roots of the given equation. Now we have to identify the value of p. To identify the value of p, we have two methods. First method is that to, since p is the coefficient of z cube or we can say that sum of roots will be equal to minus time coefficient of x to the power minus 1 divided by coefficient of x to the power n. Hence sum of roots are 3 plus iota plus 3 minus iota plus 2 plus 4 will be equal to minus minus p. Here plus iota and minus iota is cancelled. 3 plus 3 6 plus 2 8 plus 4 12. Then minus p is equal to 12 or we can say that p is equal to minus 12. So we are with value of minus 12. And another method we can also use that z minus 3 plus iota multiplied by z minus 3 minus iota 
multiplied by z minus 2 multiplied by z minus 4 will be equal to 0. This is our equation and when we will simplify it identifying the coefficient of z cube this will be equal to p. So, when we open this equation and simplify it we will get z to the power 4 minus 12 z plus and so on and from here we can see that p attains a value of minus 12. So, you have to do a little bit of calculation here to simplify this whole expression. But you will certainly get the value of p. So, we have our answer p equal to minus 12 and a equal to 2. For more questions do visit our website www.iignacademy.com and register for detailed explanation. Thank you.